hello there, I'm Peter Waters, G3OJV from Waters and Stanton. And uh, I do quite a bit of QRP portable operation and I'm using here the Ellicraft KX3. And one of the questions that frequently get asked is what headset can I use with the KX3 and what connections and how do I make these connections, what adapters do I need? So I thought on this short video I'd uh, just show you uh, how I do it. It's actually quite simple. Now I'm going to show you how to connect a Heil headset to the KX3. The Heil headset is the ideal partner for the KX3 because in actual fact it's so simple. You need to have a Heil set that's got the two 3.5 mil connectors. The black connector is actually a three-way pinout and that's the audio because it's a stereo connection. And the grey plug is just a two-pin connection and that's actually the mic. Now the first thing we have to do is we have to go into the KX3 menu system. We do that by pressing the bottom right hand button in for about a second or so. It bleeps and I've already selected the menu system for the microphone. You, you select the uh, menu system by rotating this knob here, the uh, VFOB knob. It says PTT up down. Now we don't want that. So what we do is we rotate the big VFO, VFO knob which changes the menu option until we get off. So the PTT and the up down are now switched off. Now the next one, thing we need to do is we need to go in to mic bias. I've already set this by selecting it on the VFOB knob. You can see there it says, I hope in the picture you can see it, mic bias. At the moment it says off. So we rotate to the big VO, VFO knob and we select on and that's the completion of setting the KX3 up. Now we come around to the other side of the radio and we now connect our Heil headset to the radio. Some of you may be wondering how the grey mic plug which is just a two pin connection is going to work with the KX3 which normally has a four pin connection. That's the reason why we went into the menu system and turned those items off. So I plug the grey mic plug into the KX3 input, mic input, and the black plug into the KX3 headphone input. I've now got audio coming through the headphones and I've got audio, hopefully, coming through the microphone. Once you've completed this and everything checks out OK, the final check is to make sure the radio works OK. So you put your headphones on and you turn the volume control up to make sure you've got audio coming through the headset. Then with this button here you adjust your power level down to zero. You then press the monitor button here which is covered in the manual, to set a monitor level of about 10 or 15. You now press the TX button, which is this bu button here. That sets it in the transmit mode. You'll see a, a light come on, and with the mic gain on the transmit side advanced, you should be able to hear your own voice in the monitor that proves the system is working. And that really is all there is to it. Now there's two ways of controlling transmit receive. You can either use this transmit button on the bottom left here, or you can set up the Vox. Either way works well, and it's really down to your own discretion as to which way you use it. And that's how you set up the KX3 with a headset. No adapters needed. 